Hi friends, welcome to Aisha's DIY. This is Bargain Beatbox subscription for the month of December. We are going to design with that. This is one of that tutorial. And I have here this links that we got from this month's subscription. And these um, stones which was very very pretty. Um, these ones I believe they are snowflake cut out um, glass crystal. So... So we are going to design with this and I also took out these two beads we got a strand of that and these spike cones and the spacer beads and the bead caps I have kept everything right here I've also kept the snowflake charms I don't know why if I uh, maybe for the pendant and for this we need some wire uh, so and some jump rings um, actually this uh, pendant right here you can wire wrap this with wire or you can use a jump ring to connect it. We shall see which one is feasible right here. And also we need some head pins. I have here some 24 gauge artistic wire and some jump rings and some head pins. So first of all, I'm taking my head pin and trying to figure out the pattern right here. kind of figuring it out if this bead cap will look good on this or not I feel that I don't want this and I want this directly like this I like this design so I'm gonna keep it like this so that's one thing we'll set it up first okay that's that and regarding this we'll just try pliers wise we need I have a smaller jump ring and a bigger jump ring I think I will try with the bigger ones we need our pliers to open and close I am using a tweezer nose pliers we need round nose pliers wire cutters and tweezer nose or needle nose pliers whichever you have available um, in your in your home will work you can have a bent nose pliers which I normally like to use to open and close a jump ring. Uh, so I'm just going to hold one end of the jump ring like this and I'm going to hold like this. That way I have really nice control on this. Let me just try to put this. If not, we will wire wrap this guy. So it is working so far. Let's see how it does so you go back and forth you don't pull it away you go back and forth and then once you're done with that yeah kind of like this this way wanted to make sure if the jump ring is straight for some reason it looks wobbly to me on the pendant so I'm just trying so first I thought I will put this down then I thought this space I don't want to waste that space I really liked it this way so when you hang it it will like this which I really like and then we can put this in the bottom right here but I really don't want this to be bigger I'm still thinking what I can do about it I think it should look good so here we go bend this wire to 90 degrees take your wire cutters and snip off about a centimeter or so you can save those 
you don't want to throw that we can use it for some stuff that we need a shorter wire and we can also make an eye pin out of it right so here we go take it on those pliers put it right in between and then make a loop just like so put that down let's do the same the next one so I just keep my pliers just right above the bead not very close because we need that kind of a space to bend it then cut it about say one centimeter I just eyeball it but if you want to measure you can measure it and make the loop okay so we made the loop all we need to do is and uh, now a dash so these jump rings won't work i used a bigger jump ring sorry pump the camera camera mm. that will work see there is already a slight gap in my jump ring so what I do is I hold it here I hold my jump ring go back and forth and close and then make the jump ring straight open it nice and wide add the snowflake pendant kind of a thing and then to this and close go back and forth wiggle 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 and then leave it right there it is kind of tight i don't know why oh, there we go it's fine now okay now i open this guy up and add it to the bottom do the same to the other when I am opening this loop also I am opening exactly how you will open your jump ring back and forth and not pull apart that way you will not harm the shape the loop shape of your earrings and on top of this what we need we need a ear wire so you can make your own ear wire or you can use uh, the ear wire that that's available um, this thing specially has a thicker um, area here right if you use the regular head pin maybe the movement will be restricted so I would like to make my own ear wires it's all no it's easy to make your own ear wire so I shall just quickly explain it I have a couple of videos in my channel for that all you need to take is 20 gauge wire and then I like to cut about say one point uh, one and a three quarter inch there we go and then again use my nylon jaw pliers to straighten the wire okay then snip off the tip to flush cut the end so in your wire cutters there is two spots one is curved like this the other one is flat like this this when you cut the wire like this right if you use this end it will be flush this area if you do this it will be tapering so that's the reason why we flush cut the ends so when I do cut here see this is the flush part so I'm cutting it like this we have two lengths of one and three quarters so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pliers round nose pliers see I should not be able to feel the loop I'm putting the wire in between almost in the middle because I want the loop to be bigger than usual right so this is where I have 
and I'm going to do the same here. This looks like a P. You don't want to straighten your loop, right? There we go. Now what I need to do is keep it in the middle, just like so, and then bend the rest of the wire. We have our ear wires ready. All you need to do is, I mean, this one is small because I use the small round nose pliers. If I would have used this one, the mandrel is a bigger size, as you can see. Right? That's how it would have come. There we go. So now take the end and twist it a bit, just like that. Do the same to the other ones. And our ear wire is ready. So open this up, just like how you open a jump ring. And add this finding here. Now it will move freely. That's why I wanted this loop bigger. And I wanted to make it and not use the ones that I bought. Open up a bit more to fit our finding and close it. And this is our earrings. Take all these off. So I hope you guys like this earrings. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon for notification. I do upload videos almost every day. We never use this. I used a head pin. I didn't want to wire up here. I used a jump ring instead. Because I want it to dangle a bit more. So that's why I did that. So I really like this earrings. I hope you do too. Please share this video with your friends and family. I really appreciate it. And one thing I forgot is to make a mirror image here. So see, I made a mistake. I should have made a mirror image. Right? So this is a two-sided finding. And if you can see right now, both are facing the same direction. Rather, it should be like this. So I will change this right now. And show you guys now the now the earring is ready I flipped the uh, bead and then also the ear wires I fixed it just this is a fun little earrings very easy to do and pretty also